lot of turnovers there in the second half, but my teammates were able to keep me up, uh, keep uh, rallying behind me. And uh, there in overtime, got a few quick buckets early and really got a few stops. And from there, we made our free throws and got the game. Kid showed a lot of resiliency. Just uh, tried to stay as positive as we could. You know, we can look at the turnover there at the end, and um, you know, we just we got the ball in the best player on the floor's hands um, as quickly as we could in overtime, and um, he could have easily folded, but um, he didn't. He's, he's special, and uh, wasn't one of his better games. He'll be the first to admit he turned it over. He was loose with the ball, but when it mattered most, he stepped up for his uh, for his school, for his program, for his city, and uh, couldn't be prouder of him. We're um, we only have one player with, with significant varsity experience, and um, we, we know we're going to go through some growing pains. It's just nice to go through them and be able to still win. So um, I gave our kids a lot of credit tonight. It would be easy to go in there and be negative, but we beat a rival, a really good team, really good program, and uh, we feel good about it. Move on tomorrow. Trey's been great for us, great shooter. He's been working really hard in practice, buying in a lot. Uh, we just came out, came out hot through the first punch and uh, that ended up winning us the game. You got a thousand points. Did it even hit you at any point? Not during the game at all, but afterwards I, my mom had been telling me about it. so. Is a good honor. Yeah, it's it's he's he's just a phenomenal player, great kid, um, puts a lot of time in, um, just a great program kid. He's a special young man, and uh, um, I'm sure he'll remember this the rest of his life. Not just because he scored a thousand, but the way in which he did it in overtime against Medina. So special night for that kid.